hi so as you can see by the time this video i just want to come today and give you guys some like helpful tips and tricks or well i think they're helpful because they've helped me in my like shampoo session on wash days become less dreadful because there was a time in my hair journey when i would shampoo my hair and it would always mat up it didn't matter what shampoo i used tip number one is to part your hair in sections it makes it easier instead of dealing with all your hair on your head which is usually a lot of hair at one time. When you do it in sections, you're able to control, you're able to manage the sections easier, and it reduces the matting and tangles that you get. So what I do is I usually always part my hair in either four or six sections. In the beginning of my stretch, I'll do four sections. Toward the end of my stretch, I tend to do six sections just because I have more new growth and it's just easier to get to my scalp and I see less matting and tangling within my new growth and at the line of demarcation. Tip number two is that you wanna detangle your hair before going into the shower and before even like putting shampoo to your hair. You wanna just kinda, you can just do a light finger detangling, but you just wanna make sure your hair is about 70 to 80% fully detangled before you put shampoo in your hair. Because if you try to shampoo your hair and you have like shedded hair still in there and you still have tangles, all the shampoo is gonna do is just gonna magnify those already tangles in your hair and just make it worse. So you wanna just make sure that you detangle your hair. You can do finger detangling or use a wide tooth comb and just like brush over each section real lightly just to make sure you get most of like the tangles and most of the shedded hair out. You don't wanna get, you don't have to get all of it out. This isn't like doing a whole nother like detangling session like you would afterwards. Just do a light detangling. Make sure you get all the tangles out of your hair before stepping into the shower and putting shampoo or water on your hair. Tip number three is that you only want to shampoo your scalp. You don't want to like lather and put shampoo on the rest of your hair. That's going to dry out your hair and that's going to cause even more matting and tangling. Usually for African American women, our hair is the dirt and like grime on our hair is usually just at the scalp. That's where like you get a lot of the oils at. That's where like you'll get the sweat from. It stays on your scalp. It doesn't usually travel down the length of your hair. like. And that's where you want to just like focus putting your shampoo at and just like rubbing it in your scalp. Tip number four is you don't want to be too hard when you're rubbing. You just kind of want to do it nice and gently. You kind of want to use like the pads of your fingers, put it to your scalp and do like a nice like scalp massage. If you just do it softly, like the dirt and grime and oils will just come off your hair. Tip number five is that you only want to do a lathering session twice. So you wanna lather, put it on your scalp, rinse it out and repeat. And you only wanna do this twice. If you do it more than that, it will start to just strip your hair. Tip number six is that you don't wanna take all your hair and pile it on top of your head as you see the women in the commercials do, how they just pile all their hair on top of the head and they're just going like just shampooing and they're having an amazing time. No, that is just gonna cause your hair to tangle even more. Our hair naturally wants to hang down. So you wanna shampoo it in the way that is hanging which is just down gravity you don't want to just pile it all on top of your head and start shampooing that is going to cause a lot of tangles and unnecessary breakage tip number seven is the type of shampoo you want to know what type of shampoo you're using and why everybody knows that there are harsher shampoos like clarifying shampoos and softer shampoos like sulfate free shampoos now for me I don't look for my shampoo to be conditioning or moisturizing or detangling. I just look that it does not mat my hair up and tangle my hair. But what you want to do is just make sure you know what type of shampoo you're using. Like you don't want to use a sulfate shampoo every week all the time. You want to switch it up and use a sulfate free shampoo sometimes. So just be aware of what type of shampoo you're using on your hair. And the last tip, which is tip number eight, is just make sure that you have a schedule for your shampooing. Like you don't wanna just shampoo every day or you don't wanna be like, okay, I'll shampoo this day and then I don't know when I'll shampoo next. Like of course, listen to your hair, but it's easier when you make like a schedule. So like I'll shampoo every other week or I'll shampoo every week. And that will help you out better and it won't cause your scalp to be dry because you'll just keep shampooing, keep shampooing, keep shampooing. So what you wanna do is schedule your shampoo sessions and make sure you schedule it like enough time apart so that your scalp can at least get a little more dirty like you don't want to clean something that's already clean there's really no purpose to that if you have any tips that i haven't said leave them in the comments below or if you like don't agree with a tip that i said like leave in the comments below like i'm not like a pro at 
this whole hair joint thing. I just like sharing. So leave down below any tips that you have, any tricks that you have, any type of shampoo that you like, any type of shampoo that you don't. Basically, just leave anything about shampooing down below. And I'll talk to you guys again in the comment section and see you guys later. Bye this video and by the picture of this video it's just a quick video to show how you can get your hair from being thin to being thick and I just want to come show you guys because in the beginning of my hair journey my hair wasn't thin thin but it wasn't the thickest as it is now